get some goodies. Alright y'all, I'm out here on the tidal screw gale. Uh, trying to catch something here. I seem to have left uh, quite a bit. Oh no, I got a mic. I thought I left my mic. Well, no, I do have a microphone, which is good news. Uh, plug the mic in. I'm going to turn it off. I'll get back with y'all. All right, y'all. We out on uh, Screw Cow. This is like a little channel. We lost audio. Uh, this is like a little channel off the Screw Cow River, right off the... Uh, South Street Bridge. Uh, the channel goes from where you see here the green lines that I, I drew here and I'm actually right here where the red dot is. Uh, we got Tiger and Little Man. We just setting up since the early days we learning. We've already caught a couple of catfish so it's uh, still not that experience with them but uh, the rest will be down here to, uh, to try to catch I tried it once before with no success, but uh, now I have a little more experience, and I'm down here with my uh, my favorite bait now, uh, Dollar Store Bagels, and we get things in the water, and uh, let's see what happens. This is a nice area. This is uh, what they call, uh, well, it's, it's basically University City, or across the river would be University City. Uh, this is down near the 30th Street. Uh, like I said, I'm right off the South Street Bridge. And this is the school Kell Banks. The people come with their bikes, jogs, their pets. And so I have these boilies I made up. Uh, you know, I cooked them up. I saw a recipe online. But uh, you see as a uh, they falling apart on me, so they didn't work, so. Nice looking boilie, though. I'm gonna guy down and gonna throw up all the gym. He put it in myself. And uh, he caught a fish, I asked him what he used. He said, look, I used a piece of, uh, I used a piece of bagel. I was like, a piece of bagel? You know. But uh, since then, I've been trying to some bear products I was seeing in the store, and one day I ran across a dollar store bagel. Put a little garlic on them, let it marinate a little, and uh, I put over half my fish, carp and catfish, on those babies. And a piece of pizza. That's what I caught my first catfish on. I think I'm grabbing a piece of pizza now in the place. So it could be a big one. Alright, we'll have sound coming back. I can see sound coming back on, but it's really popping. So, you know, I'm down here doing it. I've been down here a couple of times. I met some anglers down here. I've seen quite a few videos of other anglers fishing this area. And the only one I've seen in this channel was a uh, uh, Leo Shane. That's the nice HT100 uh, pin pursuit reel. Real smooth. Uh, that's their low end reel. That's the lowest of the low end reel, entry level reels. But for what I'm doing in the fresh water, uh, it's, it's, it's nice. I, caught a, I grabbed a flathead on it a couple of weeks ago and you can feel the difference of all the reels I have. <coughs> it does make a difference. Uh, it's very smooth, you know, it, it gives you great confidence. Alright, uh, little man set up. We'll try to get Tiger and uh, uh, Sound's coming back in. Go wow. out. Uh, you know, Tiger's coming up next. I get little man in the water. Before I can even get a, a tiger a baited, uh, little man just claiming that he has a fish. Yeah, little man has a story to rebuild in time. Well, this is our first catch here. Uh, it's only been in the water five minutes. Uh, I have to do a voiceover. And we have a nice catfish here. I guess you can see some of it uh, angle in the water. 
I got a new uh, head cam coming online so to make it uh, see that better. Again, we're down here at uh, Schuylkill Banks in a little channel right off of the main river. We're getting more experience at catching the little channel, or the juvenile channel cats. And we caught this first one on a piece of bread. And we got a scale out now. And we're trying to do the whole thing. All right, we got to walk him over. Make it uh, easier to land and land the fish. Put him on a scale. And, uh, Oh, this voiceover really is. It is what it is. Nice, nice looking channel, channel though. It is, I'm pulling it up. I really wasn't that used to, I'm still not that used to, well, I'm much used, more used to handling them now than I was. Uh, I could grab it with my hands, I could use the lip grippers. I'm just much more familiar with, uh, with the creatures, the denizens of the, of the sea, of the water. A more, much more adapted hand of them. It's to say, I'm, I'm where I'm still worried because they can't give you a bad cut, a bite, sting. So you have to be careful, especially with different type of fish. They're different. Catfish, uh, the small they are, the, the tougher their uh, fins on the top and on the side are. You see, I'm grabbing it so that top fin doesn't get me. And I got the other two fins between my hands so they don't get But this, the bigger they are, those things get soft. Those are basically, from what I understand, defensive measures. Uh, when they're small, uh, to keep other fish from eating them. But as they get bigger, those, uh, those fins don't play a part in defense that much. So there's a two on the side and a one on the top. Those are defensive when they're small. So the smaller they are, the sharper they also are. And this guy, he was pretty sharp. Probably enough to stab you if, you, if, you don't, if you're not careful. He got a weight of 1.3 grams. Like I, I still have to look that up. I'll look it up in, uh, well, he was 13. I got, I'll look it up and put it on, I'll write it in before the video is over. But, uh, of course, we don't eat catfish, but it's still uh, you know, a nice looking catch. And he goes back in the water. And uh, we'll rig up or re rig. Yeah, the tiger still didn't even get in the water. But again, before we can uh, get Tiger in, again, I got a little man rigged. Two minutes after you hit the water, bang, another catfish. I'm sitting there amazed. I'm thinking it's a hole there with, uh, with a bunch of fat, I mean, a, a catfish that come in there to uh, lounge. But uh, truth be told, after, told, after I got this one in, uh, it was a good catch, you know, a good fight. You see, he got little man built, bent in half. So I thought it was a, a larger fish, but really just a tougher, tougher fighter. Uh, Anyway, you know, once I finally got it in, oh, hold on, I gotta turn this off. Once I finally brought it up, uh, about the same size as the other, maybe a little larger. Forgot what I had on the scale. Yeah, this guy here uh, had a nice conversation. Not really an angler. He seemed like a foreigner, actually. You know, he didn't seem like he was, uh, you know, born and raised here in Philadelphia or even anywhere in this area. Like an old world kind of guy from Europe or something. But anyway, as I, you know, I finally got it up. Again, put it on the scale. And uh, yeah, after I went back out a couple times in the same way, like I said, I thought I ran into a whole school or something. But, uh... Maybe they've seen their buddies disappear, whatever, but no more fish were available. Nothing else came up. Nothing else came up, so. Uh, after 15, 20 minutes, which is what I normally do, I only give a place 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, unless I'm right at home. 
and I move on. You know, I'm not the type of, uh, I don't like to sit, I don't like to sit and wait. Generally, if nothing pops, you know, if there's any, some other spot available, sometimes you're in places you can, there's really nowhere else to go. It's another guy that walked up on me, he's from Sweden. Uh, he's actually 64, we were conversing and, you know, we were talking. I mentioned I've only been fishing since I was 65, and he was saying, well, he's 64. But he's been here for a while, he works in the city. You know, I guess they have a story over there too, uh, with the Swedes. But anyway, this is, yeah, I'm probably chop that off. All right, so we're getting in, uh, like since the second one, it's, but we're getting on a scale, and we, uh, we want to move on. Maybe we're just getting on the scale. I don't know what the weight is. I usually have a second camera uh, that's, that, that sees what I do, which is the Canon. Uh, I may have, but somehow I lost that video. Or I don't have any video of it. So everything here is coming off the GoPro. See, there's the cannon there. Normally it would be recording. But you see it's not even looking at what I'm doing. It's faced the other way, I think. I'm not sure what happened there. If I ran out of batteries or or something. All right, so he's back in the water. No harm done. I'm explaining to the guy that I'm a CPR angler. Catch, photograph, and release. And, uh... Shortly there, I have to pack up. Now this is right off the South Street Bridge, and I walk on down. I'm getting used to being on the water. And I have uh, achieved a certain level, I'm not there yet, maybe next spring. I'll get out, I'll be hitting on all cylinders. But right now, more often than not, uh, when I go out, uh, I will catch a fish. I see you now we're down here. We down here on uh, it's the Waller Street Bridge. We just walk down. I don't see the bike every day. We're not biking. Sit up down here again. I've seen other people fishing here, which is why I stopped here. You know, I like the bridges. Uh, they have boaters out here. And I'm gonna actually do. I'm gonna cut this and bring back in the audio because somehow uh, the audio came back and uh, hopefully. Uh, uh, make for a decent video. All right, talk to y'all. Get back with y'all. We'll see what happens. Got another 15 minutes, y'all. And then we out of here. Some, uh, some boaters out here. Oh, they got a sister out there too. She doing what to do, boy. Come and put an eye on my rise. Hope you don't fish into my, uh, right into my fishing rod. She doing what to do. She got her head wrapped up. She doing it, boy. They all tense. She tense anyway. Bunch of them. One guy back there. Yeah, that's right. But I would like to get on the water at some point. Talk to y'all later.